A specific gravity test will only tell you the state of charge of the battery, so it will also be necessary to do a high rate discharge test on the battery to make sure the battery is capable of supplying the correct amount of current under cranking. Now what we need is to connect the high rate discharge test meter across the battery. We will need an inductive ammeter pickup to measure the current flow being passed across the battery. It will need to be connected in the right direction on the pickup. There is an arrow showing you which way the current flows, so that will need to be connected the right, right way around. We will need a voltmeter to measure the battery voltage when it is under load, so that will be connected into the onto the battery as well. To do the high rate discharge test, you will need to use a high rate discharge test meter, uh, capable of measuring the amount of current flow needed. Make sure the voltage settings are on the correct scale, in this case 12 volts, and this is on a 16 volt scale. Current draw is in the right setting so that we can measure large amounts of current draw. The connections for the leads, high rate discharge test leads, are tight. Make sure the voltmeter leads are in good condition. And you will notice that we have 12 volts shown on our meter. This test should not be done for more than 15 seconds, otherwise damage will result to the battery. So this is the load lever, and we press the load lever down till we get the correct current draw, and then note the voltage reading. So we'll do that test now, I'll we'll push it down. You notice surely the current will start to run up here. Here it comes, coming up. And now we have reached 180, so that's what we're looking for. You notice the voltage has dropped down, and at this stage it is at 11, just over 11 volts, so it is holding the voltage correctly. We're holding it for no more than 15 seconds. Now we let it off again.